Welcome back to another installment of Rewild Homeschool. Today, the pest we are going to be talking about is mealybug. Mealybug can come about for a lot of different reasons, but like most houseplant pests, the most common reasons are gonna be an excess of moisture or humidity, uh, so your plant's sitting in water for just too long. Uh, it is especially pertinent in dracaenas or other tropical plants where there are tons of little nooks and crannies where they can just really get in there and take hold. Some telltale signs of mealybug are going to be slightly different than spider mites, so they don't actually produce a fine webbing, but rather it's going to look like a small cottony substance, specifically in the nooks and crannies of the plant. Another way to know if you have mealybugs specifically is if you notice a waxy or sticky-like substance on your plant's leaves, that can actually be honeydew, which is something that mealybugs produce as they eat the plants. It's a really misleading term. They poop gross stuff all over your plant. Disgusting. So this is what a mealybug looks like. So when you are cleaning your plant, you definitely want to just pull away some of the leaves and make sure that you're checking all these nooks and crannies. And if you do see any white cottony substance, you can get in a little bit closer and you will definitively see their ridged edges as well as two distinct antenna. They look like sea cucumber, like you know a sea cucumber, how they have like the, the antenna and they're like kind of cute. It's like that, but it's a nasty little bug. So the best initial treatment for mealybug is going to be to take a Q-tip with isopropyl alcohol on it and just swipe away all of the little mealybugs. Here's an example of some cottony residue. Definitely want to grab that as well. So after you've gone through your entire plant, swabbed away any of the bugs that you can see, any of the cottony substance, you definitely want to still douse the entire plant in a preventative. Uh, this one didn't have that many bugs on it, so I'm just going to use some watered down neem, uh, probably in at least like a 50% solution, if not a little less than that. And we're really just going to make sure I'm on jet and blast out all of those nooks and crannies, making sure to also wipe down all the leaves and get rid of any of that honeydew substance. Mealybug is really common for beginners, uh, especially if you are a chronic overwater. So just make sure you're always checking in on your plant, moving the leaves about, and when in doubt, give your plant a couple more days before watering it again. See you later. See you later. <laughs>